Right folks, just a quick video talking about short kits and top kits generally for Daiwa poles. Now as you know I've used Daiwa poles for the last eight or nine years now, absolutely in love with them. Um, I've got a G90 that I use for, you might call it heavy work or when I'm fishing short, and I've got an AZ Pro which I use when I'm fishing long pole at venues when you know presentation and finesse are really a paramount at long lengths because I think you know at 16 meters it's up there with the very very best out there. Um, top kits are available for Daiwa poles now obviously um, they're su supplied in two different kinds of packs there's a, a more power pack and a more match pack but what I like for a lot of commercial fishing like a lot of anglers is short kits so in a moment I'm going to show you uh, four different kinds of short kit um, that suit different sort of price points and I'll tell you which I think is best and why. So first of all I've got in my hand here um, what I'd call a long kit. Now again this isn't a standard long kit you buy or that comes with a Daiwa pole. This is a pre-bore match number three. So it's a pre-bore number three kit it's called and you can see it's supplied reinforced. So then I get this drilled out and I fit into this a Preston roller puller bung. I love these Preston roller puller bungs. I think they're far superior to the Daiwa grooves, um, which I think wear your elastic. I think these are much, much better. Now, so it's a pre bore number three, and then I buy a match number two kit to go on the end of that. Um, so the whole kit, I'm sort of six foot tall. It's stand up, it's about seven foot probably in length. Um, takes a good length of elastic. If I'm fishing for mixed F1s and carp um, with some big, you know, chance of some big fish or if I'm really trying to get that long length, this is the kit I use because obviously it's got that bit of extra elastic in it and it gives you that safety barrier if you hook a big fish. So I've shown you that. Now just to say there is one type of top kit I use that is heavier than this and that's the standard um, Preston PPK kits. Um, I say standard, they're not as supplied now because now they're supplied longer. They're an old kit that you can actually buy. If you have a look through, you'll see them um, on the second hand sites and stuff. That's what I use for real bagging with really thick elastic. But I'll happily use this combo here. Anything up to Black Hydro, you know, even the um, 15 Preston um, Jury Slip, I use that a lot. That's what I'll use um, for 90% of my commercial fishing. On to the short kits, which is what I really want to talk about in this video but I, I want to just add a bit of context in terms of what I use for everything. Now I'm actually holding a kit here that's not a Daiwa top kit but it does fit the Daiwa pole. This is a Preston DWA kit. It's one of the uh, cloud ones I think they call the ghost ones um, because obviously it's got this grey effect that blends in with the sky. I actually managed to hook my thumb while I'm talking which hurt quite a lot. Ow! Right, let me um, talk you through the features on this. It's got the Preston roller puller already fitted in it. Um, it's a one piece kit. Um, I've obviously mentioned the, the, the cloud already. Now the, the, the positive with this is it's very very reasonably priced. You can pick these up for anywhere between 50 and 65 quid depending on where you look. A lot lot cheaper than the other standard supplied Daiwa F1 shallow kits. Um, so yeah if you're on a budget these are well worth a look. They're very very good. One slight criticism if I'm being picky is the number four section goes in a bit further than it does on a Daiwa mandrel. So although they do fit the mandrel, they're not as quite a snugger fit as the Daiwa supplied poles. Does that affect performance? I don't really think so. It just goes in a little bit further when you push it in. That's all I've noticed. So that's that. There's a couple of different kinds of these. Um, I'll show you there's a standard one which I've got here as well, which is um, same length. And they're all the same length, give or take about two inches or three inches as the pre-supplied Daiwa short kits as well. So um, yeah, really, really like these. This is obviously just a standard coloured one as well um, without the cloud effect on it. Again, for the money, fantastic. Then we move on to the standard F1 into elastic speed kits supplied by Daiwa. Now this is a one piece kit again. Um, they're not supplied quite like this though. The way that these are supplied is with um, no no drilling out done so you have to sort of fit your own um, puller kit to them and it's a, a Preston roller puller that I've put in there um, and again I just love these I think they're much kinder on your elastic than the grooves that are standardly supplied by Daiwa. Now some of these are supplied 
with the grooves already in but you can actually take them out drill them out and put a roller puller in if you're careful just use a dremel um you actually get the bit supplied by preston you can, you can buy it with the roller puller that you need to drill out that hole and put that in um so that's what i'd do these are what i use for i'd say 90 percent of my of my short kit work simply because i've got more of them but there is something that i think is a little bit better and i'm going to come on to that now so that brings me on to the final variation of these short kits that i use this is a two-piece Daiwa short kit now to make this you actually have to buy two different sections from Daiwa and basically make it yourself it's a pre-bore uh, sorry it's not a pre-bore it's, it's a standard match number two to start with so that's just a standard number two for a match kit that i bought there and then this is called i'll put the name on the screen the exact name but from memory it's come to something like a short mega number three or a short power number three I'll put the exact name on because I'm not the best at remembering specific names of everything like this, but the name will be on the screen now. Again, this is supplied though just as a short top short section. There's no reinforcement on it. So what I've had to do with this is take it to Danny Six Smith who does pole reinforcements up in the, the northwest and he's fitted me this lovely little wrap on there and he's also fitted me the roller puller. Now this whole kit I think is the best performing of any short kit out there and the reason for that because it's two piece it's just got a little bit more give in it so when you do up that big carp you've just got that little bit more play in the top kit so it doesn't break you basically the short kits are designed to improve a pulse performance they're designed to be rigid they're designed to be stiff they're brilliant for that but I do like the fact that with these kits you've just got that little bit of give in them however in total to do it this way you've got to buy the roller puller you've got to pay for this bit to be reinforced you've got to buy the two sections separately and obviously the bush on its own i think if you add it all up it's more like 150 quid than 100 quid for the daiwa standard supplied kits and of course 50 to 65 quid for the preston dwa kits so three different kits three different price points i hope that's shedded some light on what's out there as i said i think this is the best performance how much better is it? It's marginal. A lot of top anglers do use this combo, though. I will say that. Um, if money's no object, that's the way I'd do it. I'll obviously put the name of these sections on the screen now. But if you're on a budget, and as I said, you're not compromising performance very much at all, you pick up one of these for, as I said, between 50 and 65 quid. I hope that shed some light on it, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the bank soon.